Hey guys, it is me, Hepisarik, and welcome back to Last Standard Survival. So currently we are located at this farm location, and I have to go and clear it. I have to go and kill five savage giants in order to go for a raid. But before we do any of that, I also thought that maybe it would be nice to go and open up a blue box. But what if we go and spice some things up? So that's why I brought a grenade launcher here. And you know what? I don't think that was a smart idea. Let's go here. Let's activate a sprinting skill. Let's gather all of these guys here. So you might say, it's like, this is like a speed run. Well, it's like somewhat of a speed run, but not really a speed run. Nice game glitch. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The game actually lagged. The game has <laughs> actually lagged. Alrighty, so we have here a couple of savage giants. I think maybe it would be cool to go and get a couple of extra savage giants from the very top. I'm going to quickly deal with this rotten yokel so that it doesn't really annoy us. Let's take this savage giant couple of other savage giants over here. I just don't want them to clap me because if they're gonna start punching me like three, four savage giants at the same time, I won't be able to heal fast enough. Alrighty, so let's do a couple of loops around them. And there's also a bull. Maybe I'm gonna deal with these. Uh, you know what? We don't care. Or maybe I do care. Or maybe I do care. I'm panicking a little bit. No! 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 Alrighty, so this time I'm gonna try to hide behind the wall with all of these savage giants. Hopefully they're not gonna go through here. Alrighty, everything's alright. So I'm gonna go over here. One shot. Oh, no, go! My character got stuck. I promise, peeps. The game lagged. Not my fault. I'm limited by technology. Well, there are two extra raiders attacking me. Wait, let's go put those raiders to sleep. And that's pretty much it. We can just go and open up that blue box. I still don't have a slightest clue. Where's the blue box? But at the same time, we have a revenger over there. So let's whip out two machetes and let's deal with that revenger. So as you can see, we're fighting this revenger with my machetes. And speaking of machetes, I still don't have my purple blueprint because I want to get that purple blueprint. I've been hunting for my purple machete blueprints for like now, what? Three, four years. I don't remember when that farm location was released in the game. Maybe about a year after the release of the game, farm location was released. And since that day, I'm hunting that purple machete blueprint. I've opened up God knows how many purple boxes and I still don't have that purple machete blueprint. But I've seen and I've heard from a lot of people getting those purple machete blueprints there. All I need is just my purple machete blade and that's it. Then I'm gonna have a perfect machete. So hey, who knows? Maybe today's the day. Maybe today we're actually gonna get that purple machete blueprint. Maybe I did not waste that grenade launcher here for no reason. And just like that, Revenger is dead. Thank you very much for your cooperation. So from the Revenger, just as always, I'm only gonna get like these 10 pieces of cloth. And with these 10 pieces of cloth, I can go and quickly craft two bandages. Alrighty, so we're almost done clearing this house. Sometimes, occasionally, you can get here a blueprint. I don't think you can get that purple machete blueprint here. But as you can see, we've gotten a red ticket. We got some nice shoes, which I'm gonna keep them there. But I, I have gotten blue blueprints inside of these chests, but I don't think I've ever gotten a purple blueprint. And before anybody asks me, Sayak, if it's possible to even get those purple blueprints, yes, it is possible to get purple blueprints at the farm because myself personally, I think I've gotten here some purple blueprints, such as blueprints to my bow, even though all blueprints to bow are useless. But I, I am certain it's possible to get it. There are some melee purple blueprints that are only available at the police department such as that engine mod to your sawblade mace. I still don't even have that mod too. But hey, today we're not talking about that sawblade mace engine mod blueprint. We are talking about my machete blueprint. Let's whip out my grenade launcher and let's see how many zombies are actually going to spawn here because we have cleared almost entire farm location. So maybe no one's even going to spawn. Oh, buddy, these two rotten yokels spawn. We're going to put them to sleep. And these schmucks spawned out of nowhere. So I'm just going to attack once. And maybe I'm gonna use another grenade launcher shot. Nice, that was beautiful. And one more savage giant appeared out of nowhere. Alrighty, we're gonna deal with this savage giant with my Uzi. And another savage giant. Wait, where are they spawning from? Alrighty, so let's pick up a puppy. For those who don't know, here inside of this farm location, you can also assemble your chopper. You can find some chopper parts, such as here, we've gotten the chopper fork. Here, you can also find some wheels. I'm pretty certain you can also find here gas tank. So you can find here anything you want for a chopper. But hey, the moment of truth. Let's open up that blue box. Purple blueprint, purple blueprint. Please, please, please. No! We've got a common sport quiver blueprint. Thank you very much, but it's useless. And also the rest of the event has spawned here. So I thought why not come here and deal with these survivors real quick. Again, as I pointed out many times, we are the bad guys here. These survivors haven't done anything to us. But hey, <laughs> we're going to go and loot their choppers. So inside of the first chopper, we're going to get already one M16, which is amazing. Inside of the first survivor, we got nothing useful. Inside of the second survivor, nothing useful. Inside of the third survivor, nothing useful. We can quickly check this duffel bag. And here we're going to get some med kits. Alrighty, that's appreciated. And let's go. Let's check out the last chopper. And here we're going to get a zip gun. <laughs> 
can't believe it. A zip gun, thank you very much. And welcome to the raid number one of the day. So from what I know, I need to drop a C4 somewhere here. I might be 100% mistaken. I've done a little bit of research, but I think this base looks a bit different from what I've seen. But maybe not. Here we go. Here we're gonna get all these chests again. I don't have a slightest clue what loot we're gonna get. But I, all I know is that we've put all of the zombies to sleep. So let's open up the first chest. We've gotten here a stack of these iron plates, which probably I'm gonna take. And before we open up the second chest, let me tell you about Psyche merch. Make sure to go to Psyche.com because I have brand new designs such as I Am Donut or Stop It hoodies and t-shirts. Link is also available down in the description. Thank you guys for all of your support. And now let's open up that second chest. And inside of the blue chest, we are gonna get almost three stacks of iron. So I guess that's pretty cool. That's gonna hop into my pocket. Again, it's not like we are running out of iron completely. I'm pretty certain we still have maybe like 300, maybe even more iron at the base. But hey, more iron is always good. The more iron, the better. Here, I'm gonna take a couple of pieces of cloth. For those who don't know, I can't craft bandages right now with those pieces of cloth because I am gonna make some noise. I think I have to keep repeating that because every time I'm not gonna repeat it, there's always gonna be that at least one person. Sayak, why you haven't crafted bandages? It's like you can't craft them because you will make noise. You can, however, exit the base and craft those bandages there. But again, you are gonna make a little bit of noise by exiting the base. So it's not a viable strategy as well. That's why I just put them into my inventory. And let's open up one more chest. Here we got some bolts. Don't really need them. Maybe it would be nice to bring that to the base. But again, don't really have a dedicated chest just to bolts. I'd rather store some different loot. Here we got some stones. Might take them if there's nothing else to take here from this base. And we're already at... And another wave is gonna spawn quite soon. Here we got some rope. Gonna get another stack of duct tape. Gonna open up this extra chest. Probably another wave of zombies is going to spawn. Yes, indeed. Here we got some garbage. So let's deal with this wave of zombies with a snap transition. So that's it, all of the zombies are gone, and now we're gonna quickly fill up the chopper here with the thick cloth, with iron. Is there anything else that I can drop? Wait, eh, it's good enough. We filled up the chopper. Alrighty, let's get back to the base and let's open up the rest of the chest. I feel like I should have eaten here that perch and the car buff. This way I would have made less noise at the raid, but hey, whatever. Mistakes were made. Let's take some carrots too. let's take some jerky, some canned food, and the rest is gonna stay here in the chest. I'm just gonna eat some of the food. And probably I'm gonna start softening up these chests. I'm gonna do two hits to this chest. I'm gonna do two hits to another chest. And then I'm gonna soften up all of these chests up the top. Again, I don't have a slightest clue if I'll be able to open up all of these chests when the big one spawns. Who knows? Who knows if we're gonna get some nice loot. Maybe I'm just gonna grab it and I'll dip out of this raid. But again, we'll see. So let's open up one of these chests. The big one still is not here. So I think without any further ado, let's start opening up the chest from this side. I'm hoping that maybe the big one is gonna touch the wall. And uh, already gonna get a little bit of leather. I sh wasted a little bit of time there. Could have been much quicker. We got some med kits. Didn't take eight of them. It's all right. It's all right. What I got here, a little bit of gasoline. Maybe gonna take it if I don't forget it. Four guns. Definitely need that. Do I remember where they are? Yes. Heal! Heal, idiot! All right, we healed up. That's all right. Let's go outside. Let's do a quick, 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 quick loop. I have a sprinting skill, so I think I should be able to go and get the those four guns. Alrighty, let's do a loop. Silly big one is chasing me. Let's heal up again. I'm gonna activate the sprinting skill. I'm gonna go over here. Go, 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 go. And get the four guns. One, two. Heal, heal, heal! Alrighty, we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. That's it. I'm skedaddling from this raid. Maybe there was a little bit of gasoline, but again, we don't need it. So this base gets Ix approval. So welcome now to floor four. And the reason why we're doing it, because I am preparing for raid number two. And to do that, we need to go and kill five turrets. So, hey, and the best way to get those five turrets <laughs> is by doing the fourth floor. So let's try to gather all of these dudes. Uh, let's see if I'm gonna survive. The point is, even if I die, it's gonna be fine because I didn't, I forgot to take a true friend doggo with me. So I, if I'm gonna die, that's gonna be a tactical teleportation back to the base. So I, this armor is about to break, but I, I wasn't a complete dumb dumb. I brought with me another set of armor. So we're definitely gonna take it inside of this chest. We've gotten a grenade, let's get it. Again, this chest is useless if you do not have burglar skill. So I, hopefully all of you are gonna get that burglar skill. So let's switch the armor. I'm gonna drop the old one here just so that I don't have to delete it. Let's go, let's bob the first turret. I'm gonna whip out my grenade launcher and I'll probably gather all of these zombies. And yeah, that's gonna be good enough. It's not like I can gather more of them. That's it, all of them are dead. So the reason why I'm using a grenade launcher here because it was kind of fun to use that grenade launcher on the farm. So I thought, why not use it here? All right, let's heal up. Let's go a bit further. Gonna quickly deal with these two frozen bloaters. Then I'm gonna pop that frenzy giant. Wait, give me the orange ticket. 
Let's go through the meat. Now, let's deal with this savage giant. Actually, it was a frenzy giant. After the farm, I confused them. And hey, check this out. Over here, we're gonna get two extra turrets. So that's gonna be three turrets already. And the other two turrets that you can kill or destroy, whatever you wanna say, are gonna be at the second and third floor. Oh, and check this out. I've just looted this chest and here I was able to get a steel bar. So let's take that steel bar into the pocket and let's go further. I think here I'm gonna whip out that grenade launcher, even though I don't wanna break it fully because right now with VAP, you can repair your gun. So I'm trying to repair my grenade launchers. And that's why I'm kind of maybe using more of these grenade launchers because hey, we can repair them, but hey, I could also save them for 99 waves. But hey, it is what it is. Let's do one shot. I think I can do another shot. Nice! That was great. And now we can put this grenade launcher to rest. All right, let's loot the box over there. I thought I have more first aid kits, but hey, I have only eight first aid kits left. So I don't even know if I'll be able to clear this place fully. But hey, let's quickly put this frenzy giant to sleep. And I do know that this place has another turret up there. So if you want to kill five turrets, you could go and kill this turret. But as you can see, this turret is going to have 500 health. Plus it has a little bit of defense. So you're just going to waste your guns by killing that turret. So it is kind of useless. I wouldn't suggest you wasting your armor on that. So now let's go a bit forward. Warm up a bit. Wait, stop being cold! Oh, buddy, I'm gonna deal with this numb zombie. Another numb zombie. Zomb and check this out. These are gonna be the last zombies that we can kill here. So, a grenade launcher shot. A grenade launcher shot on that frenzy giant. Probably just wasted that last grenade launcher shot. Do not slap me. Thank you very much. Let's get the uh, M16. That's it. All of them are dead. And just like that, we have cleared the entire fourth floor. So the only thing that's left for us is to go and open up the chest up there. So hey, let's type in whatever sort of password here. Let's go through the door and let's open up these two chests. So inside of the first chain chest, again, for this chain chest, we required to have a burglar skill. So here we're going to get a steel bar, copper bar, and some grenades. And let's go. Let's open up one more chest. And then we are officially done with the fourth floor. And here we're going to get another steel bar. And we're going to get some more first aid kits. Alrighty. And before we go anywhere else, let's open up a couple of crates here. So inside of the green crate, we're going to get a Glock. Just as always. And here we should get two guns. We got two M16s and some armor. Oh no, the turret's already attacking me. I'm dead! So welcome to the raid number two. That's that that was supposed to be the raid. Already I somehow some way healed up, dude. I can't believe it. What is this raid? I've already made 29 noise. A wave of zombies has already spawned. But hey, at least I can tell you that this is a pretty nice raid, I guess. At least it was supposed to be nice. Now I have no idea. Whatever, let's deal with the turret. I mean, it has 1,000 health. Maybe I don't even need to pop that turret. Whatever, whatever. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm beyond disappointed. Well, mistakes were made. It's all fine. It's all good. But if I'm not mistaken... Somewhere here we should be able to get a couple of uh, stacks of first aid kits. Wait, there's another turret here? No way, no way. You gotta be kidding me. I'm sick and tired of these turrets! Stop making noise! Well, I'm gonna go out of here. Already another wave of zombies has spawned. Dude, I just messed up this entire raid. Already, luckily I had some seven first aid kits in my inbox. So let's get those seven first aid kits. Dude, I can't believe it. Stop making noise. Already the turrets stop making noise. That's beautiful. Let's go, let's jump down another wall. And uh, that's the horse feeder, all right? We're gonna jump down the horse feeder. We made even more noise. So let's place the second C4 over here. Hopefully what I'm doing here is all right. I mean, we're already at 91 noise. <laughs> at 91 noise, you gotta be kidding me. But hey, at least here we got some first aid kits. So you know what? That is something. Well, I can go and open up one more chest over here. But again, I was supposed to get even more loot from this base as this base has some pretty decent loot. But here we can only get these trucks, saw blade maces. I mean, just simple saw blades. So yeah, kind of maybe messed up this raid. But hey, we still were able to get a bunch of first aid kits. So you know what? This raid gets IX approval. So I had to suggest you checking out this video where I rated seven bases or click on the second card and you'll go to my The Last 10 Aftermath Let's Play. It's a cool survival game. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlists and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm.